Hello everyone, my name is Captain Dark, and I'm going to show you a little tutorial about how to use RE Central 4 specifically. <clears throat> RE Central 3 is almost the same, but with a, a little variance between the two software. So for example, in RE Central 3, you don't have capture mode, uh, your sources are down here, or should, should I say your scene is down here. But moving on from that, you have from RE Central 4, you do have the option between single mode or multi-mode. Single mode allows you to use one capture device and that's it. You hit edit, you see your capture, your source software here, and that's pretty much all you get to change on it. Now, if we switch to multi, which is what I recommend people to stay on, or you use period, you will get to see, as it loads, you'll see my retro screen that I have set up for streaming and my full screen mode that I have set up for, you know, my uh, 1080p games or my PS4 or any other console that I use that uses full screen. You also have the away screen, which you can see me there a little bit. And you have the start, my starting soon screen that I've set up for right now, as I have artwork coming for my Twitch channel. Now, going back to my retro screen, uh, you are allowed to have different sources. So as you can see, I have the capture card here. I have my webcam also here. Um, you have the image, which is my overlay that you're seeing now, and you have the alerts. So we can add scenes. If we add a scene, let's just say we add a scene, you have different types of scene. You have six scenes. One is normal, which has nothing on it, and you can customize it to your like. Uh, you have basic, which is just basically adds the stream source or the capture source, I sh should say, which could be your PlayStation, your Xbox, whatever you want it to be. <clears throat> you have your record scenes, which allows you to, um, it, it brings you the capture software, it, the same thing, it does the same thing as basic software, which, but it allows you to have a picture uh, source already uh, there. Then you have your stream which does the same thing, two sources, two input sources, and, and kind of like a picture, an image, of an or, or an overlay. Your chat, same thing with two devices in your away screen, which if I make an away screen right now, it just brings up this normal screen. Or screen. You can add if you want to. You can just simply delete this if you want to. I can just delete that. I can click here and I can add an image. I can add text, you know, web sources for alert boxes for those who stream on Twitch. Here's a video source. You can add your little videos if you want to within your source. Screen capture is a new thing also. Um, then you have your, also you can add your device. So if I was to actually just turn on one, if I wanted to, let's actually go to my retro overlay. Let's do that. So if I go to my retro overlay, back to my retro overlay, I have alerts for my Twitch. I have image, which is again, the overlay my webcam, and I can bring it up in different layers that I can just say hi and then get that away then my game so if i was to turn on my playstation one you would see my game shows up it just boots up um after it loads there it goes okay so there's my playstation one i can crop the image i can do a lot actually it doesn't look like the game is going to boot properly so i'll go ahead and reset that no signal detected but i can change the source or i can edit the source i should say position where it's located within the uh, frame, the image, transparency, you know, you can crop it, which I have mine cropped to actually fit with there. I try to get rid of all the black bars. I don't want the black bars in there. Filter, smooth. I'm not sure what this does for this specifically. Background, which is used for your chroma key. So if I was to go to, let's say my webcam to show you guys that. Um, actually, let me bring that up. I'll bring that up. The webcam edit I can do a lot of things with my webcam which, as you can see I'm using a Logitech C920 my position or my resolution is 1920 by 1080 30 frames per second if you get to choose between RGB 24 and motion then here's your position where it's located I have my the lock position but it doesn't allow you to move the web you know the source around it doesn't allow you to move the source around if I lock the aspect ratio it will move the length and the width at the same time if i was to choose that i don't personally use that i don't like it per se <clears throat> but the image uh if you were to crop it i usually crop some of mine out from time to time uh right now i'm not i don't need to like i see this little green stuff here. it's kind of wild but filter smoothness kind of smooths out the image on this i know that for sure i don't use it just to 
reduce the wear, or not the wear, but the uh, stress on my computer. And then chroma. So as you can see, I have a green screen. So if I was to a yep, get rid of that little part, I use AD. As you can see, I can change it like this, or make it completely disappear. But to go back to my presets, it oops, eight. 80. There we go. Gets rid of all my background. And this is pretty much how I have it set up for streaming. Now, down here, which is what I know people are mainly looking for, you have, sorry, feet, foot is wrapped around the court. Um, <clears throat> you have different quality settings. You have optimal, good, normal, and default. They all have their own settings. Default profile is what I choose to use specific. Specific. Turn off the game for you guys also. Um, I can edit that. So I can edit the default profile, you know, MP4 is mainly what the file uh, type is going to be. Resolution, you can go up to 3K depending on your capture card. Mine can support 3K or 3K, 4K, sorry. Um, and 1080p, I just keep it at 1080p because streaming at 4K is obviously not going to work. Ooh, excuse me, you can change your megabytes per second. 60 megabytes is the max. Your frame, frame rate, which it gives you a max up to 60. Depend, again, this all depends on your capture card. Uh, your audio bit rate up to 256. Profile, I normally keep mine on high, and your keyframe normally stays at two. Uh, but I don't record often. Uh, I have an AMD GPU, so you can use your codec, you can use your AMD, or you can use your H.264. Uh, that's what I normally use for the GPU, or since my GPU doesn't really work too well. Um, my streaming setup is, you know, my Captain Dark, my retros. I have two profiles now for this. So I have a retro stream setting, which I can show you guys that. 1080p, because I do use a Frame Meister for my uh, retro consoles, my PS1 and all those. Two keyframes, again, leave it alone for Twitch. Uh, profile is set to high. Only 128 kilobits, I want to say, or kilobytes per second. I'm not sure which one it is. <clears throat> for the audio but as you can tell it sounds pretty good uh, if you go to my channel that is, it just sounds pretty good um three video bit rate 3.5 is what i recommend for a 30 you know 30 frame per second um bit rate where you're streaming on twitch it's fine like i say a 30 fps that's great and i also have if i was where to go to full screen once this boots up on my system oh that's right i took oh wait hold on I took away myself. Boot that. Boom. There we go. Now, for my full screen games, they normally run at 60 frames a second anyway. So, for my 60 frames uh, FPS, FPS profile, I use 1080, 4 megabytes per second, uh, 60 frames, high, 128. Everything's pretty much the same. I just click 60 frames and boot it up to 4. And, uh, that's a good medium, I should say, to get people to watch and stay that way they won't have any they won't have any issues with being stuck in buffering hell and sorry i'm not really used to recording i'm mainly used to uh streaming so it's a little different for me to record myself i know i have to try to get it right and i know i, I keep stuttering over my words but with that being said that's pretty much a simple thing you can also delete your scenes you don't have to choose your uh let me delete that you don't have to choose any of these you can actually start out with a normal profile i know i'm kind of out of order with this but you can choose a normal profile you can add your sources so if i wanted to add the gameplay the capture source i can add that hdmi or component it doesn't you know depends on what you use i personally use hdmi i have all my retro consoles go through hdmi so it's just my setup then you know you can make it big and then if you want to add let's say Screen capture, you can, yes, you can capture a screen now. That's one of the difference between RE Central 3 and RE Central 4. Video, you can add a video source. If I had a video to show you, you guys, I would. Image, which is my overlay that me personally, oh, text. So you can use text files too. It's not like OBS where you can, you can't add uh, text files as of yet. I'm hoping Aver Media in a future update will allow that, which would be great because that will work well with my overlay. Um, and then web content, say my alert box, I can have my alert box there. Or uh, let's see, if I go back to device, if you have multiple devices, and this is your, this is where multi-mode shines. You can have 
two capture sources. So if I had another uh, capture card, I could use that capture card on here. So I can record two things or I could record the same thing um, twice. Well, not really the same thing, but you know where I'm getting at with that. I'm sorry. So if I was to select my webcam, as you can see, yes, it's dirty, but select my webcam, I can move my source. Then I can hit this, add in my source. <clears throat> I can lock it, <clears throat> change the aspect ratio, and it can fool with their other, all this other things. My stuff is already still the same, so it doesn't really matter. And boom. So it's not complicated. It's honestly a very simplistic piece of software. Uh, OBS, in my opinion, is a little more complicated, which is what took me so long to actually make this video. And like I said, I'm not used to recording. I'm more used to streaming. So if you want to come see me stream, be sure to come follow me at Captain Dark. It's all one word. I'll make sure that it's in the description. And I hope this tutorial was actually useful for you.